Hi there, students. Teflon. Teflon. Okay, Teflon is a polymer, a non-stick polymer that they use to put over the inside of um, frying pans and other um, things used for cooking. It's a non-stick surface. Okay, um, Teflon is actually polytetrafluoroethylene. Well, it doesn't help much. Um, but so, Teflon. Now, I first heard this phrase used differently uh, in the 1980s. Um, the Teflon Don. And this was used about uh, John Gotti. John Gotti was a, um, uh, uh, a mafia boss, I think, from uh, New York. And there had been various... Um, court cases against him in the 1980s. There were several um, high-profile tr trials, but he escaped from them uh, with, with, without any damage to his reputation. He, he, did, he was uh, found completely innocent. And after th this, he was called the Teflon Don. He was given the nickname the Teflon Don because... Um, uh, nothing stuck to him. They couldn't get um, accusations uh, to stick. And that's why he was called the Teflon Don. He's got this idea of non-stick again. Um, but nowadays, they also use this word, this word Teflon to talk about, for example, a Teflon um, politician, um, a Teflon president. This is somebody who manages to avoid criticism, to come up smelling of roses, even after they've done something that is uh, clearly wrong, something that is not good. OK, so a, um, a Teflon president, a Teflon politician, um, no matter what scandal goes down, a Teflon politician is able to avoid the blame yeah they're able to um they are impervious to blame they're impervious to criticism and no matter what they get caught doing um they seem to be uh, they seem to have a non-stick character or a non-stick reputation and this is the idea of a teflon um a politician yeah it's it's as if they are coated in this non-stick surface it's this uh, ability to av uh, avoid getting the blame for things yeah um okay so you you maintain your standing and your reputation in spite of scandal in spite of wrongdoing yeah, um, so I get the feeling that Boris Johnson's a bit of a Teflon uh, politician or a Teflon prime minister. Um, no matter what they catch him doing, um, he's still able to maintain his reputation, uh, his, sta his standing. He, he almost seems to be impervious to blame. Well, they did finally kick him out as pr uh, prime minister. But it wa it wasn't very easy, yeah. Um, so it it seems like the, the, these the, these people's uh, hide their skin is made made of Teflon. Um, just nothing sticks to them. Um, I wonder if uh, Mr. Trump is going to be called a Teflon president, where no, where no, none of the accusations levelled at him actually stick. We 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 will see. But Teflon, um, yeah, Teflon is a type of plastic to provide to coat pots and pans for cooking so the food doesn't stick and the pan can be cleaned very easily yeah but a te somebody who's made of teflon a teflon president a teflon politician yeah um a te i guess a, a a teflon teacher uh, a teflon uh um company um i um, i want it seems at the moment that uh um, Mr. Poutine has a uh, uh, a, a has a uh, 
Teflon presidency within his country. Yeah, no, nobody would dare uh, say anything wrong about him, and he's therefore impervious to criticism. Okay, so uh, Teflon, impervious, um, and it, let's see, it comes from the word uh, Teflon, which is which is a um, a trademark. Um, I, I think probably tetra for fluoro. Uh, fluorine on as in nylon rayon yeah and it's a chain of four fluorines well enough um teflon I, a formality teflon president i think i'm going to give it a 4.5 in formality i think actually i'm going to give it a, a five in formality if you use it in something very formal just put a pair of inverted commas with it um i think it's probably on the more informal side though but use it anywhere so enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and i will see you soon bye for now the teflon don the teflon president